Why Indian people should be regulars on Saturday Night Live? AKA, Indians are better than everyone. Number one, we have a lot of accents, and it's probably better than how anyone else can do it, even when it's typical. I can tell you that we have the best tea. I work in a stall that sells tea, and it is so tasty. It has a lot of caffeine, so if you don't like caffeine, then you will not like this chai. But if you do like caffeine, then you will like this chai. I love it. I drink five cups a day minimum. But they are small cups, so you can drink more of it. But another accent of many that we have is the British system educated Indian. Let me ask you. How many floors are in your flat? Because I have two floors in my building, two. <laughs> How many servants do you have? Oh, zero? I have five. They clean for me, cook for me, shop for me, take care of me. So while you were showing poverty and slums in India all over your TV shows and films, I was enjoying my life, just like a lot of people in India. Number two, we're good enough to win Miss America. And we should win Miss Galaxy. I would like to thank the Galaxy for winning Miss Galaxy. Because you chose me, even though I was born in India but grew up in America. You chose me even though you think I'm a terrorist just because I have brown skin. You chose me even though I have to show my birth certificate, so I'm up there with the president. You chose me because I'm better than everyone in the entire galaxy. Number three, our brown skin lends itself to playing a whole bunch of different ethnicities, like the Latina. Ay, I'm feeling trapped in myself, you know what I'm saying? Like the Middle Eastern. No, I don't have any bombs strapped to me. I'm just here at the rhymes of the ancient mariner. Even the old Jewish lady, you know. All right, let me tell you why being Indian is better. Number one, I'm ethnic. When you have to check the box and Indian isn't there, that means that, you are, that there is no box. You're, I'm thinking beyond the box, and so are you apparently. It just doesn't get any better than that. It just doesn't. Number two, I'll be your Jewish friend, your Italian teacher, your J-Lo, your thug, your Indian doctor slash cabbie slash lawyer slash terrorist, and all of these things I'll play better than you. It just doesn't get any better than that. It just doesn't. Number three, there's something called the suspension of disbelief. Actors expect their audiences to do it all the time. Like when Marky Mark is playing a soldier in Iraq. He was never really a soldier in Iraq. Or Will Smith fighting aliens. There are no aliens and he wasn't fighting them. That's called suspension of disbelief. Or on Broadway a while back when they cast a black girl as the Bollywood star. I'm thinking that wasn't the case in real life. That's called suspension of disbelief. It can work the other way around too, right? Because if you didn't notice, I'm doing a Jewish accent right now. It just doesn't get any better than that. It just doesn't. <laughs> and this is a skit. This would be a skit in the sketch. I'm serving an older white couple in a diner in college that one summer. <laughs> How are the eggs? Everything good? A little overcooked, but good. You have a beautiful tan. <laughs> um, this isn't a tan, it, it, it's January. It, it's my skin color. Oh, well your features are so delicate. I, I thought you had a tan. True, my, my features are delicate. I, oh, you thought I was white with a tan. That's probably due to some uh, rape that happened when the British colonialists came to my homeland and took over the women, gold and spices. That might be a possible explanation. No, it's, it's not a tan. W would you like coffee or tea? 
Yeah, I think it's time that some Indian people should be on SNL. <laughs>